I think about all these great masterpieces as being kind of like national parks. We revisit them at different times in our lives. We revisit them in the company of different people. That changes the nature of the experience. And the pieces themselves are kind of preserves for endangered emotions, all the wonderful, wistful, and ardent feelings that the music contains. I'm aware that it's extraordinary to be asked to do a perspective series twice. That's a testimony, I think, just to how long I've been here. Uh, and maybe as well that I've kind of kept studying and working and maybe getting better. There are a lot of confluences here. In the opening gala concert, I'll be returning to playing some music by George Gershwin. And of course, there's a very direct link between me and the Gershwin family through all of the connections that we had in common through the Yiddish theater. I'll be joined in this concert also by two of my dearest oldest friends, Renee Fleming and Audrey McDonald. Both of these ladies are remarkable in that they can sing repertoire from many different genres. On the second night with the San Francisco Symphony, we explore another confluence with Igor Stravinsky. I grew up in Los Angeles. I saw Stravinsky conduct for the first time when I was about 10 or 11. And little by little, I began to participate in those performances myself and had this wonderful experience of hearing him sing and demonstrate exactly the way he thought the music should go. My dear, my dear. In March, I have two concerts with the Vienna Philharmonic. One program is devoted to Mahler's Ninth Symphony, a piece that has been right at the center of my worldview for a long time. And the final concerts are with the New World Symphony. I feel very special pride and affection for this ensemble because it is one that I founded. New World Symphony is like the research and development arm of classical music. The other perspective's artist this year is Yuja Wang. When I first met Yuja, it was quite a meeting because of the really uh, very open, curious mind that she has to want to see and understand more of what's happening uh, deep down inside the music. She's a treasure and I love her and I'm so thrilled we're doing this concert together. I'm a conductor, I think, who has the perspective also of being a composer. I haven't composed anywhere near as much as I would like to have, although that's, I think, about to change. The next night in Zankel will open with a piece of mine uh, called Playthings of the Wind. This is a kind of dramatic scene based on a text of Carl Sandburg. There are some control freak conductors out there who just say, this is exactly what I want you to do and you must color within these lines. I, I, I don't get that. For me, that's kind of like spending your life talking to yourself. You're trying to develop their perspective, to take the strengths that are already there and present maybe a new possible direction. And this is another of my big missions with my young colleagues from the New World Symphony to make sure that they have the time to, for themselves, explore and become comfortable in this amazing testimony of emotions and discover that it's their time to really be at bat and to, through their lives, through their beautiful young energies, to pass this great music on to new generations. Thank you.